Hey everybody, welcome to our final day of daily devotional for this week. It is Good Friday, a day that is um, somber and right now outside it's not really sunny and it's overcast. Um, you know, this is the day that Jesus died on the cross. But we who are believers know that he rose again. So today doesn't have to be filled with doom and gloom um, because we have the knowledge that in just a few short days, Christ rose again and he lives forevermore. So let me jump into this last devotional for this week. You know, every day is full of pressure, but in a time of crisis, everything is amplified. The best way to release the pressure is through prayer. You know, prayer is like a pressure release valve. We may feel isolated, experiencing radical change, navigating family or relational dynamics, and experiencing loss of various kinds. There is a lot of pressure to process. You know what? We cannot do that on our own. When we talk to God, we can talk honestly and openly about the pain and constraints that we're feeling. We can ask Him for help. We may have to shelter in place right now, but the Holy Spirit does not have to stay in one place. He is our first responder. He moves freely without restriction. And you know what? He is right here with us every step of the way. Whatever you're going through today, whatever you're feeling, please hear those words. He is with us through every step of the way. Over in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, we have the Lord's Prayer. Would you say this with me today? This then is how you should pray. You can repeat after me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. I hope when you read that, you said it from your heart and you meant that. Um, so let's go now over to the book of Thessalonians chapter 5. It's very short. Verse 16 just says, Rejoice always in whatever we're doing and whatever our situation is. If we keep our mind focused upon godly things, we can rejoice. In the book of Romans chapter 8, God's word says this, In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We don't know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Would you just let the Spirit lead you and guide you today? You may not even have the words to say, but we have the assurance that the Holy Spirit knows our hearts and speaks to the Father, even when we don't have those words. You know, I've got a few questions for you today, so let me ask you these questions real quick. Number one, what does prayer look like for you right now? I challenge you, rather than focusing on the negative of what's going on, begin to rejoice and begin to give God praise for where you're at, right in the middle of your circumstance, and see how he can turn things around for you. And secondly, who is someone that you can enlist to pray with you daily or weekly? There's nothing like corporate prayer. So I challenge you to find somebody, find a prayer buddy that you can agree with and that you can join in prayer on a daily and weekly basis. You know, it helps us to pray for others because it strengthens our faith. So find that someone, if you don't already have them, and be their prayer partner. And let God move in both your lives. I have so enjoyed doing this this week. And, and uh, you know, uh, 
it's been a lot of help for me uh, to know that God is here and God hears us and, and we can have joy. And even in pressure, we can find joy when we rest in the peace that comes from God. So let me pray for us this final day of our daily devotionals this week. Father God, thank you so much. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that, that knows our hearts, that resides inside of us. And Lord, we can come to you in prayer no matter what is going on. You desire to talk to us, so Lord, just remind us that you are never far away from us. And we can call on your name in every situation and you hear us and you respond to us. Thank you for loving us, God. I give you honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks again for joining me. Look for more daily devotionals starting Monday on our website at pcbiblechurch.org or here on our Facebook page. God bless you.